Hello, I'm Maria Vasquez, Superintendent of Orange County Public Schools, and this is Mondays with Maria. This week, I wanted to revisit questions after Hurricane Ian, and again, take this time to say thank you for your patience and understanding. Last week, we had a successful few days back at school after Ian. Any residual effects are continuing to be addressed. Chief Communications Officer Scott Howitt is back with more questions from our parents. Thanks, Dr. Vasquez. Thanks for having me back on Mondays with Maria. It's been more than a week since uh, Hurricane Ian hit us, and I know the impacts on our community, on our schools, on our children, on our employees uh, varied, and some, some uh, it was very difficult. As you reflect back on last week and returning to school, talk a little bit about um, the feelings and things that you heard from from those individuals that were impacted? So it really was uh, an emotional week for so many of us, not just because we were dealing with how are we going to start school, uh, but listening to the stories of parents, teachers, students, and what they have endured and the one theme that came across that, that just uh, touched my heart was that of gratitude um, and resiliency and how our, our community, despite losing homes, precious items, having to be displaced, not having electricity or internet, were just grateful that there were people out there uh, thinking about them and offering to help. The outpouring of support has been amazing. So um, speaking of support and the, mm -hmm. and the great amount of support that we've seen throughout the community, uh, Riverdale specifically, they returned to school mm -hmm. last week. Can you talk a little bit about uh, Riverdale and, and what they've experienced? I think that really is a uh, a shining star in what we have experienced. I was able to go out and talk to the teachers and staff uh, at Riverdale and many of them have been there for over 20 years and the sense of loss and what what comes next was very real. But what the team from East River High School starting with um, the principal to the teachers, the custodians, uh, as well as other support personnel have done to make them uh, feel welcome and transition has been amazing. Last week, Thursday, was their first day back and from signs of UHS loves Riverdale to cheerleaders meeting students to get on the bus, greeting them as they got out of the car, the band playing as the students uh, took their first steps on East River High School. It was so touching. My heart was full to see how all of Orange County Public Schools, administrators, support staff, teachers, and students have come out to support our, our family from Riverdale. What a special time for them to all get together. Um, any. Uh, any special uh, things that came out of that as far as uh, the principals and what they talk about and what they're kind of labeling this, uh, this uh, merger, so to speak, of the two schools? Yeah. Um, Becky Watson, the uh, principal of East River High School, uh, came up with a slogan that has stuck. Two rivers, because it's Riverdale and East River, one family. And I, I just am moved by how we have looked at all aspects to make such a difficult time one that can be um, as smooth and supportive as possible. Well, that's great. Uh, one thing that I know that is on uh, employee and parents' minds is makeup days. Oh. So um, when are the makeup days, Dr. Vasquez? When are we going to hear something or know something about makeup days? Because we know that, uh, that that's coming and I've been asked that quite a bit. Uh, we are actually waiting on the state to be able to uh, give us direction and see if they're going to waive any of the days and then that will determine how many days we need uh, to be able to make up. 
we have enough instructional minutes to be able to give one day. And if we extended one Wednesday, that would give us enough minutes for two days. So I am hopeful that um, if the states if the state waives one or more days, at most, all we would have to make up is one day, the one on October 28th. Okay, great. Well, um, it's been a challenging uh, 10 days, and uh, we certainly, uh, looking back at all that, any final thoughts, any things that you wanna, wanna share with, uh, with our community, with our administrators, teachers, support staff? Um, I, I wanna say thank you. It really has been an incredibly emotional time for all of us, uh, trying to make sure that we were uh, ready to start school and keeping top of mind the emotional toll this has had on our community. And so from um, our executive policy group, all of the chiefs, to the team at the Emergency Operations Center, to the custodians, the individuals from facilities, our principals, our teachers, our students who have all rallied around this cause of making sure we return to school, but that we are also taking care of people and are uh, taking care of their emotional toll has just been um, so heartwarming to me and I couldn't be prouder to be superintendent of Orange County Public Schools. Thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Oh, mm -hmm.